on Kropotting and the Australians. They climbed back through Kasperwitz. How many times has he done this? Remarkable restart to his career. He's a great foil, this bloke. He really is. And Stephen Fleming didn't quite get his timing tonight. And there's not a lot of room to find timing. You've either got it on the night or you haven't. And Stephen Fleming hit around that one. Kasperwitz breaks through. The headband does the trick in New Zealand. A 49 for one. Straight into it, Sinclair. Doesn't get it. He'll get two. Kasperwitz turns it. Oh, he's incredible, isn't he? Kasperwitz, how often does he come in after the early heroics of McGrath and Lee? And they haven't picked up their reward. Gillespie's another one. Never write off Kasperwitz. He does it time after time. He says, don't forget me, I'm on this tour. Comfortable catch for Simon Kadich, and all of a sudden, it's 49 for two. Got him. Travelled all the way to Ponning, straight to him. And it is the Ricky Ponning and Casper which show so far tonight. Three for Casper. Brennan McCullum thought when this came off the bat, I've got one nicely. I have timed that beautifully. Problem is, I haven't placed it. Ricky Ponning gets in the way, and all of a sudden, you're right. Casper and Ricky are taking over the joint. 67 for three. That's high. It's not far enough either. That's easy. McGrath takes the catch, and one of New Zealand's biggest hopes goes early. It's a huge blow. There's a silence here at Eden Park. They're expecting big things from their hero, Chris Cairns. And the ball just got a little bit... I mean, Kasperwitz has got this unusual ability to get extraordinary bounce. He's always rolling the, his fingers across the ball, his variation. So, huge wicket to the Australians. Disappointment there for the New Zealanders as we see Chris Cairns. He's gone for one, and it's 95 for five now. New Zealand may be in a little trouble.